front of Edinburgh University students, unions and bars. Now I feel like this one behind me in particular, which is a very kind of Hogwarts-esque, which is all quite the stand here. Um, now as far as I'm aware, JK Rowling didn't take any inspiration for Hogwarts from here. Um, it's just quite a nice backdrop for you guys basically while I'm having a chat. So the main reason we are here is because JK Rowling did actually go to the University of Edinburgh. But it wasn't until later on in her life that she actually got her postgraduate degree here.
voice of Gryffindor. So J.K. Rowling always imagined Dumbledore to be really into his music and kind of like humming to himself in his office and just having a bit of a buzz about him and being a bit eccentric. So she found the name, uh, so she thought of this idea of him being a bumblebee and then she found the Anglo-Saxon word for it which is Dumbledore. His first name, Albus, is Latin for white and his